down. Bro, it's crazy. I've seen like BTS porn. Like behind the scenes. Yeah. It's, oh really? Yeah, it's you know, I've I've never done it's that. It's actually pretty funny because like in between cuts. Yeah, yeah, because like they're just laughing because like even though like they are having a you know intimate practice. I yeah. Guess, well, they just take work. the intimacy away, bro. Nah, yeah, but like you know what I mean. Like it should be, I guess. Well, I don't know. Never mind. But you know what I mean. They're they're fucking having sex. So yeah. It's like, you know, it's just funny, like, because. It's their work though, so it's like they're kind of trying to be professional, but mm-hmm. also it's like they're having. Sex. Well, they're actors, bro. Yeah, 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 so they're actors. Yeah, dude. Another thing, I was all right. Let's just start this shit. Yeah, yeah let's just start. Right. Like we could keep that in yeah, some yeah. parts of that. You yeah, know, you keep it in another. But we'll start. Yo. Three, two, one, whoa! Break zone. Welcome to break zone, boys. Episode thirty. Yo. Hey. Yeah, I hope you like our untraditional, uh, you know, intro. Cause I mean, yeah, this is how we usually are, bro. Me and Ohms just be talking. Yeah, we kind of. But we start and then we be forgetting that. Oh shit, we need to like introduce. So we need to like we need to save this for the pod, bro. We could be talking about shit, but like we need to save it for the pod. It's kind of funny too, cause we don't like we just kind of just start screaming because we don't know what else to fucking do like, yeah to like, oh. <laughs> Yo. but uh yeah yeah so wait uh so now that we've introduced you know yeah. welcome it's tommy yeah, homie episode here. 30 and brick zoni tommy we here brick zoni uh, on the zamboni yeah. art and so as we were just talking about yeah, behind the scenes bro i don't know i'm sex. interested on uh, yeah we were, so i was saying um uh, yeah, I guess just BTS porn is they just, just be ge- they just be geeking. It's just they, uh, they're just laughing, you know. There is just it's just funny because like, um, you know, they are actors, I guess, and it's just yeah, it's just, it's just interesting, you know, because like you know they're naked and shit, and dude got his cock out, yeah, and got her tits out. The cameraman is dodging nut, yeah, <laughs> and, and vaginal fluid yeah. from trying to get in a good angle in between yeah. the ass. Like he's in the, he's in there, bro. You know what I'm talking about? We should we should just name the podcast Porn Zone. Yeah, because we always talk about <laughs> always, porn <zone>. always. <laughs> I mean, it's a big part of our life. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, bro, it's a big part of our life, and uh, like, yeah. you know, it's a lot so of we mean, consume nowadays. So, yeah. just kidding. I, I actually mean, don't do have a porn addiction. I mean, do you know how many people? No, yeah, it's it's more. There's more, like the most of the time spent of the day yeah. on the internet. The majority of the streaming and traffic is porn. porn sites. Wow. It's not anything else. Dude. Like that's what dominates it. That's, that's why it'll never go away, bro. Yeah. It's impossible. It's, I actually kind of feel bad. Like, are, when you're talking about behind the scenes, you know, uh-huh. that's like in good scenarios. But I've yeah. also heard, like, well, um, what's this woman's name? She's a porn star, but she doesn't do it anymore. Uh, Amanda Rhodes or Alana Rhodes? Alana Rhodes. Alana Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, Alana Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, Alana Rhodes. You saw her. Did you see her do that one interview and that one podcast with, like, these two other bitches or some shit? Yeah. And she's, like, talking about porn and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the one where she said that, like, people were joking about how her kid is going to, like, just just like fly out or something. yeah <laughs> i mean but like that is like not even a messed up joke like that's just stupid yeah but it's like she kind of like she removed a lot of accountability from herself in when she was talking about porn because she talks about how she's done so many things or what she was forced yeah, to like, do yeah, many like things on, yeah like and to do on. many things that she didn't want to do mm-hmm. but that's what i'm kind of curious about and bringing up the behind the scenes because how do they force that upon you? You know, like, yeah. force you to eat shit. Like, don't you know you're gonna like? Yeah, it's your job. You're going into a porn set. You should be. You know what you're gonna somewhat get yourself into. You're gonna get naked and you're gonna fuck somebody. Yeah. But how is it? Do they just bring up like eating shit or getting pissed on at the at the cut? Yeah. And can't you just say no? Like, don't you sign up for specific niches? I, I mean, I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm just saying. Yeah. If somebody is telling you that you have to get shit on for the scene, you could just be like, nah, I'm not going to get shit on. And then, like, dodge the shit if they try shitting on you. Like, I don't think it's that difficult. How, I, how could they force her? Like, how could they force you in that yeah. scenario? That's what I'm, like, realistically I'm, thinking. I'm guessing they go by, like, contracts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, or, like, they, money. And it's like, we're not going to pay you if you just don't yeah, do that. Yeah, 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 Like, you have a contract. Like, you got to fuck. Or you got to do these amount of scenes yeah and you know what i'm saying maybe they don't go in detail about what you do in the scenes i guess i mean maybe they might say like oh you do anal in this one or some shit i don't know but i don't know it's crazy that industry must no but be- see that's what i'm saying like beforehand they'll tell you like are you gonna do anal here yeah. and it's like i have to cut oh but you have to eat like some poop now yeah. it's like what the fuck you're not about to just yeah. impose that on me and force me to do that 
I mean, I, it is curious. I mean, I'm not gonna say that th- that that industry is fucked up. Like, and I know that girls do suffer. Like, there's there's human trafficking within yeah. that too, even with like strippers and prostitution and all that. All those things, anything related to sex and all that mm-hmm. stuff, is gonna have human trafficking. Yeah. And it's sad, but I mean. You sign. A lot of people do sign up to do porn. For example, the Al- the Lana Rose girl. I feel yeah. like she wanted to, like, to do porn willingly. Yeah. It's not yeah. like she was in a scenario or situation in life where she was backed into a corner and had to do it. You know, mm-hmm. it's like she was literally chose to do this. And to be honest, that's a hack, dog. Because yeah, because think about it. She became like the number one porn star. Mm-hmm. At that point, you know how much clout you have. Like you're, bro. You know how much clout you yeah. have. You can she could stop porn yeah. and that's it and just have her own platform that's mm-hmm. it because if people fuck with her i mean maybe it's they don't fuck with her that much they just see that is her big ass is on the yeah. front for front page and that's why but yo you could just go do some other porn shit and you can regulate what the fuck you do on just another platform like an only fans or something mm-hmm. but like that's a instant fame booster bro doing porn like that's what mia khalifa did mm-hmm. mia khalifa got Famous and then boom, you just use their platform for something else. But is it a double edged sword? Oh fuck yeah! Because she lost like her family yeah. for that shit. Yeah. And now <laughs> it's like all, everyone only knows her for Lana Rhodes. Yeah, for sucking dick on camera. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? no one yeah. knows her for whoever. I, yeah. I think her name is Amara or some shit. But yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like, I mean like Mia Khalifa, like yeah, that's what I meant. She lost her family. Like yeah, yeah she lost her family yeah. because of this shit. So like, is it worth it? Mm. I mean. That's not up to me. That's know. up to the, the people that do it, bro. It's crazy. I mean, it, the thing is, like, she was the no. I don't know. If she, I think she is still the number one porn star. Lana? Yeah. Damn, for real? I think. I don't know, but. She stopped, I think, right? Yeah, she stopped. Yeah, she stopped. Yeah, but, she's been stopped. But, but, like, the thing is, like, the things she had to do to get to number one, though, is, yeah. like, she, like, she had to do shit that other people weren't doing, which is, like, getting shit on, I guess, and getting yeah. pissed on or something. No, I forgot what she explained was the worst thing she did. I don't know. I, I, I nah, it was actually grotesque. Like, bro. it was. I think, like, a dude drank something and, like, put it in an asshole, and then she had to, like, drink it up again. Like, it was oh, spit or something or fuck. urine or something. Like, it would, and it has been in a gross place, and then she had to, like, drink yeah. it again or something or ingest it. I forgot what it was specifically, but I know it has something to do along that. And it's, like, she talks about how degrading and how scarred she is and all that. It's, I mean, But I, it's, like, bro, you, you're doing it for money, though. At the end of the day, your, your motivation for doing something is kind of immoral in its first place so the com- the things that come with it are gonna be immoral and fucked too yeah you know yeah it's just yeah it, it's just i don't know it's, it's fucked up because you know how that shit works right people like the thing with porn addiction is like you 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 know you watch like normal shit right but then mm-hmm. after is it's just it doesn't get enough you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. that's when people start watching like more intense shit, you know what I'm like saying? Like the weird like, shit, like that, crazy, like, like shit, shit like that. Yeah. Like people get off because of they want to see it. Yeah, people get off of shit. That like is that. such a weird thing. So that's bro. Why I like, don't get off to weird stuff, bro. Like I've only watched generic, normal shit. Yeah, like or uh, Sponge Knob Square Nuts. That's about <laughs> it, bro. That's all I've seen. We're fucking SpongeBob getting his meat sucked, okay? Yeah, by yeah. by Sandy. Yeah, no, that's cheeks. That's normal human curiosity. I yeah, but no, that, I yeah. watched that in AP Lit or oh. AP Lang with <laughs> with my <laughs> mans in the back of the classroom. We were just geeking, bro. Sponge knob square nuts. It's actually so funny. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, yeah look yeah. into it, bro. Okay, because yeah. that's the best. That's <laughs> the best. Like, all right, there's <laughs> porn for when you masturbate. You know, normal. Yeah, yeah get it out of the way. But then it's there's the funny comedy, bro. Yeah. Do you see the the funny section? Yeah. Oh. With like, with they open the pizza box and it's like yeah. his dick is through the pizza or some shit. Like that shit is hilarious. <laughs> I think that it stuff is. is hilarious. It is, yeah. And because also, like, they're because yeah. knowing that it's fake, mm-hmm. so you know that these people know that what they're doing <laughs> is stupid too. It's like what the. Fuck? Yeah, I mean that's why I fuck with hentai too. Not really for pleasure, but it's just it's just funny because it's anime. And it's just they're stupid. Like it's yeah. just it's yeah. like damn, these animators and writers were yeah. fucking <laughs> horny as hell, man, while making this shit. They were definitely high too. They had to be high because yeah. that's crazy. I can't imagine the animators themselves animating that. Yeah, shit, but like they're doing bro, it. they're probably <laughs> touching their meat yeah. as they animate. Like we have one hand on the keyboard, yeah. the other one just jacking. Like oh yeah, that, that's a like good. That's someone a good had one. to work on that and do it. Yeah, you they're like oh saying? that's that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, oh the boobs are moving a lot there because for some reason they could take one step and their boobs move like as if like, they were <laughs> like you just did jump rope yeah. for thirty minutes. Yeah, that's you know crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, well, yes, I mean now, nah, I mean. 
yeah fuck porn fuck porn bro yeah, yeah, it's not a good thing we should yeah. should not ingest it that much but Do one it. thing i did want to say though is that a lot of people go through fucking like porn addiction yeah and the reason why i say that too is because i've actually i don't know if i told you but i've been watching a david cho documentary or not documentary but he has a show yeah so he gets people on and it's crazy you know how he is bro he's fucking he has he's wild you know what i'm saying so like he, but basically he's just interviewing people and he does i think it was like the second episode he had like a writer someone who like writes books and she was talking about how you know she's like oh, she was addicted yeah to porn. she was oh. yeah she that's was, something you don't hear often yeah, with exactly, girls yeah and you know she wrote a book about it or something like that like being addicted to porn and like as a young girl like touching herself and shit and mm. like feeling ashamed you know what i'm saying and like you know david cho went through the same shit porn addiction he said he would go hours like eight hours talking about eight hours watching porn okay you know that's insane yeah, yeah bro. that's addiction but that's it's crazy. like hella people go through that bro and it's like people like you maybe not even expect because like it's it's shameful you know you feel it like mm. i feel ashamed every time i fucking beat my dick you know what i'm saying yeah and it's like i can't ima- i mean I, that's just like normal like, i don't like i don't do some crazy shit either like i can't imagine like that though like eight oh, hours yeah, eight hours yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. like that's crazy like bro. rounds and I like mean, rounds, I boy. Yeah. Like, doesn't <laughs> your dick start to hurt? Yeah, I don't know. Fuck. Like, what the fuck? I mean, maybe he's not. Be- maybe he's just watching it. Oh. Okay. Who knows? I don't know. But mm. you know what I'm saying. But even the girl, though. I mean, as guys, it's kind of more normalized now for porn and shit a little bit. You know, and like guys, like yeah. it's normal. You know, to beat their dicks and shit. But like girls, it's like you you kind of feel a little type some type of way. Like you know how you just said like, oh, you don't hear that a lot. Yeah. When I said it was a girl who watched porn. So it's like that's why I can't imagine like as a girl she probably did feel like some type of way like you know because she said that like you know she would talk about stories of her parents being in in the house and shit and that, like mm. she liked the the adrenaline of knowing that she could get caught like that would turn her on even more you know what I'm saying turn her on getting caught by my parents I'm sorry but that just <laughs> sounds like incest bro no it's, I mean it's just like I oops don't know. <laughs> I hope my dad doesn't walk in while I'm flicking my bean oh and if he does i'm just gonna get even more turned on and my clit's gonna get even harder what the fuck uh, that is actually weird i'm sorry yeah. but it, it is it is yeah. but i mean i heard knows. something that I, that I think that contributes to the porn addiction nowadays so it's mm-hmm. uh i forgot who was saying i forgot where i heard this but yeah essentially it's like back in the day there's some like before internet or anything like that Mm -hmm. there will be men that have seen two pairs of titties their entire life i'm talking about lifetime (laughs) because there was no internet there was nothing like they had to see it physically themselves they had to go out and get it and that's how man was we didn't ingest that much we didn't take in that much sexual imagery and all that unless Mm -hmm. you were like a dude getting all the pussy and all that stuff Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day some dudes on average probably end up seeing like five pairs of titties at the end of their life you know what i'm saying damn so and then now in the internet age and how we can we literally have access and see titties and um sexual sexual imagery so much and we have so much access to that every single day Mm -hmm. that that's what contributes that's why i feel like our society now has become so sexual hyper sexualized because it's like we see that a lot and that's what people want like we see titties so much and all that it's not even that interesting anymore we have to see the biggest jones so we have to see the yeah. nicest girl that's why <laughs> girls do all that human torture and oh, what's it called they corset. literally body modifications yeah. and shit bro yeah wearing a corset and stuff yeah. which is literally unhealthy mm-hmm. like wearing too tight of things just yeah. because they want to have that figure because that's they're bro. competing with imagery that men see all the time nowadays you know, some girls remove ribs like yeah these last ones they remove them Cause they want to like that's just you know crazy. it's so bad for your lungs that's crazy yeah like because you can't like how do you breathe you, when you yeah. breathe you fully expand yeah. you take it all in and it's like protection that's yeah and it protects are. it yeah. yeah and it protects it mm-hmm. but not only that it expands and all that stuff yeah. and if you're tight like this you're you're not getting a full yeah. breath of air you're not getting as much the vo your vo2 max is not <laughs> getting there my guy like <laughs> yeah. you're not fully engaging that and that's like that's you're sad. gonna you're gonna reach way more problems after that like yeah. you're gonna have high blood pressure probably and struggle to even exercise and anything any like little activity was is going to get you fucking fatigued because i mean you just can't take in a lot of air and you yeah. need you need oxygen to move your uh 
what's it called muscles yeah. and shit so it's sad i mean it, it just it, it kind of gets me more kind of fucked up now thinking about this because who knows where we're gonna head to now yeah you know like, like 3d yeah. like like hologram bro like bruh. we're not gonna even truly like need another partner yeah. i mean they're already like hella sex dolls and all that stuff and i've seen like you know stevie weeby bro yeah. stevie weeby has a black butt they talk about it all the time <laughs> you know like like it's normal like people like are doing ones, this it's just like a ass. silicone ass bro oh, like it's just silicone ass realistic <laughs> as fuck it's a black one. It's, i mean oh, yeah it's not the same yeah, yeah. You, you get one yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Get one those, yeah i want to get a purple or rainbow rainbow oh, color fuck. ass <laughs> or like an alien yeah alien i mean bruh there's the literally tail. have you ever heard of dragon dildos i hate the way we started this podcast by the way and why we're going fuck. this way but no dragon dildos somehow. bruh i'm not lying like <laughs> I, I used to watch these dudes called a, a cow chop and before that they were the creatures Shout out yeah. to them, son. If you know who they are, you're an OG, bro. They're yeah. actually very good. They they were one of the most like first OG like gaming houses to exist on YouTube, mm-hmm. like pioneers. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so later on, they got into this weird shit where they just like I don't know, just started fucking with dragon dildos as like a joke, you know? <laughs> yeah. Bro, these sex toys are getting advanced. Like, you can get a dragon dildo, like girls. Yeah. And it has like orbs. Oh my gosh. And like where it, like they come out and it's like balls and orbs and stuff and like goes into you into I don't know, bro. It's just freaky, freaky. That's crazy, stuff, man. I we're I think we're just heading in a in a very dark direction, but mm-hmm. you know, hey man, I'm 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 celibate. You know, I'm practicing celibacy. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm chilling, you know. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think uh, you know. But yeah, it's it's a lot of sex, sex going on in a lot of people's minds. I feel like yeah, <laughs> so mean, much for, sex in people's minds, but not actually having it. Yeah, I mean that's me the too. issue. Like, I, I no, 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 no. I no, no, no. But I'm just yeah. saying is that's what we're growing towards. Yeah, you know? like people see it so much and all that they just Crazy. do it themselves, bro. I mean, I, I do think about sex, but you know, one thing I've been thinking about a lot recently too. What? Basking. Basking. Mm-hmm. What's that? You know, you ever you ever seen like iguanas or like reptiles? Like you know, they're just like on a rock, like. Like, yeah, you know, basking. They're just laid like oh. getting energy from the sun. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So I just been thinking, man. Like, you know, you know, we hung out recently. You know, we had a little a little fun at a at a at a little bar. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe this this could be another little 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 hangout we could do. Just just bask in the sun. You know, just just really? like iguanas, just get like. You know what I'm saying. But here's the difference. Mm-hmm. We're not cold blooded. Oh, like reptiles. Oh yeah. So like they do that too because you know it's for warmth and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean we could, bro. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that yeah. just called tanning? Nah, it's not tan. No, no, but I'm saying like laying on a rock. Like, yeah. Like just like. Bro, I tree. will burn, dog. <laughs> I will burn. I like know, I, I am a pale white man. <laughs> I know, but the I, sun I, is crucial to me. It crushes me. <laughs> I have sunspots on my shoulders and all that stuff from previous summers that don't oh, ever go fuck. away and all that stuff because of how bad. Yeah, I humans, am with the humans sun, can't bro. bask, right? No. Nah. We'll I mean, cancer, bro, some, cancer. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some people are, are better in the sun yeah. than others. Like, some people can actually last out there and be okay. Mm-hmm. But, nah, some people are way hypersensitive to that shit, like uh, me. And like, okay. Well, I mean, I just got I've that. gotten better, though. Okay, yeah. I, I see how I was when I was a kid and how sensitive I was to the sun. Mm-hmm. Like, right now, I'm sunburned, right? I think because yeah, I have a game no, today. Yeah, 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 I had a game today. Blind, I had a little sunburn yeah. on my face. Yeah. But um, when I was a kid, bro, it used to hit me so worse. I would get blisters, like, from on my on my ears, on the edges of my ears, bro, get blisters, oh, and it would be in pain on my shoulders. Bl- blisters from the from the oh, sun, shit. and it was just all sunburn, all this, and I could you, I couldn't even move, son. <laughs> couldn't wear a backpack. Hard to even put on a shirt. Just even move because uh, when you move, your yeah, blisters would, are moving. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, oh my god, fuck. Thank God that has not happened to me like Damn. since I was a child. Damn, that's crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why I OD on sunscreen now. I mean, your 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 skin has developed far more, you know. But yeah. now I only got that. I, I mean, it's just because I got that idea from a, from a homie, you know. Shout out Polo, but uh, he was just telling me like, you know, we, we should just go basking someday. You know what I'm saying? For real, like, he was I, being genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah like genuinely bask. Yeah, why? Yeah. I mean, imagine like, what if? Imagine you being someone watching people doing it, <laughs> like just laying on a yeah, rock like, or like what the a, fuck or a tree. Like, I mean, I would literally just think they're tanning, bro. Oh no, nah, yeah, but you know how usually people tan? They're like sitting on some shit like yeah. that right but like think about like on a rock like or a tree someone's just like you know yeah i mean you probably think they're on drugs maybe but we could do that too but um what yeah. the fuck i don't know i mean also i was also telling him about uh performing sepulchre i don't what know 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 seppuku. Yeah. So honorable suicide. Yeah, honorable suicide. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, by I, samurai I, I, via I, katana. I'm gonna get a katana. So. You know, now swords and shit are cool, son. I yeah. would actually fade one having it. Like we, bro, we'll have one on our stick. Yeah, We're fuck have yeah. One up here or nah, when, once I get mine, once I get mine, I'm gonna hang it up yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? I remember at Lake Forest Mall, they used to have like a weapon store, son. No way. I swear, I bro. That. They had like medieval weapons in there, bro. It was so cool. They had Holy so many of that shit. stuff. Low key dangerous, like. That's a that's that one that's a what's it called? It's a risk trying to rob that place. You know what I'm saying? Like depending who the store owner is. Yeah. But also you can use that in your advantage too. You just you grab right, one yeah, and you, you just duel. Something. You have a literal oh. fucking duel in the fucking What would, what in the would be mall. your choice of weapon in there? Hmm. What would you prefer as a as I would a, get um like a you think a sword would just be straight? Nah, like a long sword? I would get if, if there's different types of swords, bro. Long, yeah. one-handed, two-handed. Mm, you know, true, true. There's different. I would types. get like a. I don't know. You said medieval, so I'm guessing he maybe yeah. had like one of those like chain, chain like mail, the, like the balls with the spikes. Yeah, on them, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a chain. Some um, fuck, I forgot <laughs> to know that, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one of those, and I would just. That's sw- crazy. Yeah, bro. I would swing on that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, or like I don't know, maybe get like a fucking um, like a shield. I, I would go for the shield because you know logically. You will go for a weapon, right? Someone to hurt him, but like he's he's thinking the same thing. So if you get a shield, then he can't get you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you can just charge him. Yeah, just block it. Yeah, but if block you it. if you miss it, you're fucked. Oh yeah, bro. you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or get a yeah. spike shield. You know what I'm saying? Or spikes on the spike outside shield, yeah. of it. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can just charge at him. Yeah. And he'll crush him. Crush his shit. Yeah. Damn. Nah, but um, I feel like if I were in medieval times and I would uh be like in an army or some shit like that, you know, I feel like I'd be an archer. You be an archer? Yeah. I don't want to be in the front lines and just uh, die like that. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. just... Yeah, easy. Boom, easy from far easy. away. Easy. And yeah. you can light that shit on fire. You can do hella damage to like villages and everything just with that one little weapon. But you'll get dogged if someone comes up you close range. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have like a pocket knife and you just like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah I have to have some knife. little a little flip knife or something. Yeah. You know, <laughs> for check my shoulder, you know, hit, I, hit his I, ass. I think I would be like a sorcerer. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be a okay, well, uh, if that exists, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it, it, if we're talking about video yeah, game yeah, standards, yeah, yeah. then yeah, my god, I'll be a sorcerer too. Yeah, that is a, cool as shit. Magic. Yeah. Oh fuck my yeah, god. Bro, I'll, I'll do some magic shit. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, fuck, that'd be crazy. Or I would just be like the that one. Um, I would just be like that one hobo, that one dude you wouldn't expect to like Son. do some shit. And then I would come like I'll come creep behind the lines, and then I will fucking just. What's that shit called in, in COD when you when you come behind a team? Is, it, is there a name flank? For that? Flank. Yeah, you flank. I'll them. flank the fuck out of someone, bro. I would just be like, I'll just act drunk, you know, and like, I'd be like, oh, he's just a drunk guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And out the car, I'll just be like, fireball, fireball, <laughs> fireball, 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 <laughs> lightning bolt. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll probably be like the suicide guy, though. Like, I'll definitely. Why? Do Why suicide? No, because if I'm the only guy there, like, I'm going to get rammed. Like, after that, you know, after, I, you after, mean, after I blow my cover. But I'm going to be the ultimate sorcerer, bro. I'm crushing oh, yeah, people. Sorcerer, yeah. Unless the sorcerer be sorcerer. Now, those are crazy battles. Yeah. You know, like Harry Potter. <laughs> like, oh. Have you ever watched Harry That's Potter? Yes. I've never watched Harry Potter. Are you? S- Neither read the books. I don't know shit about it. Okay, reading the books, I never did that shit because yeah. who has time to read yeah. a Harry Potter book? Nah, fuck nah I used to be in elementary school and I would see those kids reading <laughs> those books. I'm like, God damn, boy, that shit want to be overdue like three weeks in the library. How Yo, the fuck? Do you remember the Ghostbumps books? Goosebumps? The Goosebumps, yeah. Yes, boy. Yeah, and they had a show too. I never read it, but I just fucked with the covers on them. Like, yeah, they so cool. so tough. So, you never saw the show? Never, nah, never. Nah. Bro, you are big time lacking. Bro. I've never lost it, bro. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 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 just in, in a yeah form. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. wow no nah, i never and, seen them. and some of them would actually be kind of scary some would be kind of dumb yeah they're always a little dumb i mean it has to be it's like kid horror you know <laughs> yeah, yeah but some are actually kind of scary but wow no nah, i never watched them no nah. but i always just whenever i went to the fucking book fair you know it's yeah, cool yeah, yeah i would yeah. just love to get one i was of those. always so envious of everybody that book fair <laughs> Cause I would never pull up with any yeah, brass. Me too, huh? bro. My fucking poor ass. I would just get like an eraser or like a bro, bookmark. Do you know what the erasers? The long erasers that it would be twisty. Yeah, bro. Oh those joints were fucking weapons. 
weapons, bro. We would whip each other with that, and it would leave <laughs> such big bruises oh and marks. It was so bad. Bro. And at one point, like, we were all just ready and loaded in my elementary school, just all sitting in a classroom. <laughs> we, 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 the book fair came, and we all, they all cop one. Well, one dude cop one and started it off. You know, we're like, oh, oh what gosh. the fuck? So at that point, nah, he, he started a war, essentially. <laughs> Everybody was not trying to go like that. We all racked up on these twisty fucking erasers that were thick and girthy oh, and it hurts exactly. so bad the colorful jones right yeah sometimes Dude. it had like a football or something yeah. like yeah you know like it would be like the outline of a football or something <laughs> yo that's crazy that bro. shit would hurt the fucking uh what's it called the scholistic is that what that was scholistic book fair scholastic 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 book fair. yeah fuck man that shit it was damn bro those were vibes i can i can i can literally put myself on those days back in those times those, yeah. going into that I remember, you know, on my left, I would just see, like, that, my crush, you know what I'm saying, just talking to some of her girlfriends, and I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, and then I'll pretend like I, like I don't notice her, you know, and I'll go go look at these books, you know, the the, go- the Goosebumps Jones, and then um, I would have, like, a dollar, and then I, and, like, because I asked my mom, you know, I had to, I had to like, beg her for a dollar, yeah. you know, and, and then be like, oh, I I una, I, I feria de libros, and she'd be like, the fuck, you ain't getting yeah, no like, book. Well, yeah. Yeah. No lees, boludo. <laughs> yeah. Estúpido, no puedes leer. <laughs> Sobre en español. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I would just get a fucking eraser, and then, uh, yeah. But, man, that's crazy, bro, those, those book fairs. Those are the vibes. And the, and the field trip, bro, I could. What's your favorite field the trip? The fucking, the mornings of the field trips, bro, dude, that, that shit, excited. The, the air was different. Everybody's excited and pumped. The air was different during those yeah. days, bro. You had snacks in your backpack, ready to go. My favorite field trip was when we, when we went to see where uh, Abe Lincoln got murdered. <laughs> we went to the fucking the 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 uh, the theater where yeah, the theater. John Wilkes Booth yeah, John murdered Wilkes his Booth. ass. That shit was Shout crazy. out John Wilkes Booth. Shout out John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> <laughs> now look, so, nah. you see, this is why people like Hitler existed. For Abe, for people like Abe Lincoln to exist, you know what I'm saying. So you think Abe Lincoln was a good guy? Of course, you know maybe he could have had his uh, you know, you know maybe like racist jokes when he was with his wife or something. But you know he he freed the slaves. Yeah, right. Kind, kind of. So you know what I'm saying? He like, signed it. And I just love his story, bro, because he you know he like he tried for election for like. I don't know how many times. I think it was like six times or some shit. For real? Yeah, and he like failed every single time, but. He kept going, and eventually he, you know, he became president, and that's when he did what he was set out to do, you know. And then some, some guy had to murder him because that's just how it works. Damn, imagine living those times. Like he was big, like he was a big ass dude, bro. He was like six yeah. five or some shit. Like he was a big ass dude. That's crazy. And just seeing Abe Lincoln walk, that'd be cool. That's crazy. And the drip back then was way different, way tougher. Yeah. I swear, <laughs> everybody was so formal and shit, always yeah. all the time. Like that was the drip. That's Man, crazy. always has some long slacks on. Yeah, some slacks and the, and yeah, the hat. That hat, bro, <laughs> is literally iconic for real. Like, fuck. Although we never know truly what happened with how he was, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, he did push for, you know, yeah, ending slavery yeah. and the Emancipation Proclamation. But I know that he did, although still himself. Kind, I think he owned slaves at the beginning. Yeah, he had a plantation. Yeah, I he believe, had a plantation. Right? Yeah. yeah, he he did like you know, but I, at the time that is the norm. It was like the norm, which. Unfortunately, he sucks, but mm-hmm. hey, bro, he still pushed for change. But that's the thing about, you know, Juneteenth. Oh. You know, Juneteenth, you ever heard about that? How it's a holiday Is now? Is a Jew holiday? No, Juneteenth. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you just said Jew holiday, oh, my, my guy. Bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for the yeah. day that, like, all, like, the last final, like, in the South, I mean, news didn't travel, like, how it does now. You know, mm-hmm. like, the president will say something, you'll hear it. Yeah. But back then... The president will do something. You don't know about that shit unless somebody heard, like, that was there or heard about it. Mm. And it's on the news. Like, mm. it was harder to, like, print newspapers and stuff. It was just news and, tra- yeah. like, travel like that. Yeah. And obviously, that news to a lot of people that's, that, that slaves are free yeah. is not a good news for some people. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, what did they do? They just they kept it away. And they didn't. Some people still owned slaves for many years i'm talking about many years bro slavery did not just end after that happened yeah like he was already murdered and assassinated and there was still people with slaves everywhere Damn. because they didn't know yeah they just didn't know so then juneteenth was like the day that finally like the news finally came to all the last like slave owner places and stuff and they finally got free they finally were at that point it was like fuck y'all 
like they wanted their they tried their best to not let the, anybody know that they're free you know yeah. and they literally just manipulated them and kept them there for a long time and that's so damn now let's go political do you see what happened with the haitians crossing the border yeah I peeped bro that. it's that is literal modern save slavery bro that's like crazy or a uh, modern uh like racism yeah. segregation everything yeah. right it sucks the fact that those fools and you know they, they you know how they you know how people argue against and try to downplay it they're like those aren't even real whips like that's what people are saying like you're what? do you realize what you're saying like it's still a fucking act of violence yeah. bro. it'll still fucking hurt crime. like it does not matter son those dudes are happy like i'm telling you they're getting an adrenaline rush they'll never get ever in their life whipping those people happy like they're happy in the inside wow. Like, they're dopamine. They're like, fuck, yeah. Get me <laughs> like, fuck you guys, dog. That shit is, makes me sad because they're literally, they're just branded in such a weird way. Like, oh, why don't you, you guys are in Mexico. Why didn't you just stay in Mexico? But it's like, they're leaving because it's not good in Mexico. Yeah. That's why Mexicans even leave and cross the border. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, people want to leave their place because it's not good and it's better here it's yeah. like a compliment bro i yeah. swear like leaving where we want to yeah. like ditching literally everything i have just to come live in a new place for a new land because what they ex- like what they promise mm-hmm. is like the american dream and all that shit and opportunity yeah. like bro let these people do it and they're and then you know what blows me to like a conservative um argument mm-hmm. they're like oh they're none of them are are they none of them are vaccinated or, oh. or, or less stuff like that and it's like you're just gonna let all these people come in and i'm y'all don't even like the vaccine y'all don't even take the vaccine yourselves these people they don't have access to the vaccine yeah. they'll come here vaccinate them yeah it'll help everybody like it'll help them mm-hmm. it'll help everyone son so i just think that's that's a stupid argument too yeah. it's like they'll come here with all their shit but okay yeah we can vaccinate them we, we can so why not there's people out there not doing it because they don't want to because it's it's what's it called crossing their liberties man <laughs> taking away my liberties from me so I, I let think them do the, it the one main argument that it, that does kind of make sense to me is like you ever heard that where it's like how would you feel if if someone just came into your home you bro, know but that's saying? different bro they're not they're not coming to your home and yeah, it's not like a private like they're gonna yeah. just see them on the street yeah you're not gonna see them in your house yeah. like that's not how it works yeah. like is it an issue like i personally yeah. is it an issue that there's people coming here mm. like what are they doing they're not doing anything. They want to be better. They want to mm. do good. They want to do good. They're not here. They're not just criminals and all that, bro. They're literally, their fucking country is in shambles, bro. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Shit you know why? You know what I've heard? Mm-hmm. It's because they don't want, when the only slave country mm. to ever succeed and beat the white man to come here. That's mm-hmm. what it is, bro. I swear. Oh, swear, yeah. bro, and then teach people how it really is and how, bro, you can do it if you fucking fight. You know what I'm Damn. saying? Damn, yeah. Oh. Because white man is supreme, but those they're black people led because they had a revolution and yeah. said fuck y'all. They had a coup d'état. Yeah, and they just can't, they just can't fade. Damn. And now that things are fucked. Hey, we gotta move on. Mm. Like, have open hearts. You know, like a, like the the argument where it's like, okay. You take them in your house or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, at the end of the day, bro, one act of kindness is not going to fix the issue. There mm-hmm. was like 15,000 Haitians, bro. All, either 15,000 or 150,000. I don't know. Maybe 150,000 is a little too much. But it was in the thousands, bro. And you, like, them literally under the bridge, bro. Like, yeah. they did, like, a sky view of it. Yeah. So many people, bro. Oh so many people. And you're telling me if I house two of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything's good. <laughs> No, bro. We need regular like policy that's yeah. gonna change. That's the only way shit's gonna change. Not fucking individual acts of kindness, son. Yeah, it's the only way we're gonna have change. But I just feel bad, bro, because it's like I don't know. Just seeing people get whipped nowadays, yeah. and literally, literally a white man whipping a black person. Yeah, like, that's like, bro, it's yeah. like, and what, and what year are we in? Yeah, <laughs> like you could literally put that picture in black and white, and you'll be like, that was like, the like fucking, eighteen, yeah, eight, yeah like five. those eighteen hundreds, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, nah, that was twenty twenty one, my dude. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy, bro. And people literally... This is where I'm going to get into the thing that I've been told you I've been watching about. Yeah. People literally deny that racism exists still, you know? like, And mm-hmm. literally, that's happening. So I've been watching this one thing called Black White. Mm-hmm. It was made by Ice Cube. Oh, and it won shit. like it won like an Emmy and shit. Like, it did good. Like, Damn. it got awards. Bruh, it's terrible. In today's standards in society, it would never last. So essentially, this is the premise. Mm-hmm. It's 
like two families, a black family and a white family, mm-hmm. and they literally do blackface and pretend to be black, and then the black people do white and pretend to be white, and they just watch a lot, like switch lies for a little bit not switch lies because i mean they can't pretend to be somebody else yeah. you know because i mean it's like you're not that like person circumstances no like i like just races they just switch their races and go see how it is to feel black and son the white people in that shit are, <laughs> it's literally comedy bro. watching that shit is hilarious the dude the the white dude that is becoming black he doesn't even think racism exists okay he does not it, like you can tell like he's a bigot he is ignorant as fuck he thinks that the only way to receive racism, like he pretty much is what he's saying, mm-hmm. is because nobody said the N word to him up front yet. He's like, I'm just waiting for somebody to just call me that. And you know, he says it, bro. Full hard R. Constantly, dog. Every situation he gets. Oh my God. And you know what's crazy? He's still white. He's not black. Oh my it's like you're not God. even black, yeah. bro. You just have blackface, which is already <laughs> fucked up. Like, it's already fucked up to do blackface. You're pretending to be. Oh and then this dude God. is using that. To have a free pass to just say the N word and bro, the black people that are dressing up as white yeah. are hearing this and you can like bro, they get so sick. They're like, dude, nobody's gonna just fucking come up and call you that anymore. Yeah. Like racism now is like way more subtle and everything. It's ingrained, it's the, it's institutional. Yeah. It's not like how it's fucking yeah. blatantly I'm gonna whip you and call yeah. you the N word and all that. <laughs> like that's not how it is anymore. Yeah. But the guy just assumes that, it, that. it has to be that way. It, for it to be racist because it can't be racist racism isn't seen in any other way bro and i don't know it just really it makes you open your eyes to like the privilege white people have and like the difference of like context of life that they live in bro like bro. it's so insane that's crazy bro you have to watch it bro it's yeah. like it's on youtube you can watch it it's just so called ice black cube white yeah it it's called, yeah pro- ice cube made that shit bro <laughs> What? How? What an idiot! Like, I mean, it, it was in 2006. Oh, but that's still, a while like, ago. That was, okay. I think that's like when "Are You There Yet?" "Are We There Yet?" and all that shit oh. was coming out. So he was like, yeah. a, "You know what I'm talking?" He was like, "Oh, I'm an actor now." Yeah. Pretty, you know what I'm talking? Oh. That shit was that shit was tough. Yeah, are we done yet? Tough, are yeah, we done yet? Yeah, are yeah, we there yet? Yeah. But damn. Yeah, you have to watch it, bro. Like what that guy fuck? literally. He was in like a black meeting, and he says the n word because they, it's like a meeting black people speaking about race. Yeah. They don't know. That he's a white guy, like truly, they he though they don't know because he's in blackface, yeah. And they think they do makeup so well that that's what they got an award for. On the, that's what the fucking documentary or not documentary, whatever this, it was like a little mini series. Yeah, that's what that mini series got an award for for best makeup, which is just fucked up, bro. Because it's what? blackface, bro. So they actually thought he was black. No, yeah, bro. They think they're walking around and everybody really thinks they're black. The only people that don't know that know. Are the other black white family, you know, the the yeah. black people impersonating white yeah. and the producers and cameramen and all that. But everybody else, they would go out in public. They want to. The whole point is to have the black experience as a white person, like oh experience it is to it is to be black. And same thing for black people to experience what it is to be white. Like that's the whole point. Yeah. So they genuinely are in society, and like it'd be like you and me, like we go to a, a bar and they just start yeah. talking to you, and you think it's a black guy, but it's actually a white guy. Damn. And that's what I'm saying. He would what be. He was a race meeting, bro. And he's like, nobody's called me the, and just says the word flat out, bro. And out. And the dude, the other black guy, yeah. he's he's in his. He's not in his white clothes or anything. He's yeah. he's he's black. And he yeah. hears that shit. And he's like, I can't believe this guy just fucking is saying this shit, bro. He just really. He's like, this guy really just wants to say the n word. So like the, that's literally. He just really wants to say the n word. So the producers like like they wanted him to say that shit bro, or what? Or? They just wanted. I guess they just wanted to be as genuine as possible. Yeah. So like they're the person they're being themselves, bro. Yeah. Like you know, but they're just so racist that they don't realize. Like it's so ingrained subconsciously oh that they don't gosh. even realize that they're doing anything wrong, bro. They were doing like a dialect class. And teaching how to how to speak white and how yeah. to speak black for both the people for both the women it was both the moms yeah so the black mom and the white mom are together and then the, it's a white woman teaching them how to speak black how to speak white bro you know at the cut the white woman's like yo bitch like and the black girl bro she's just like did you just fucking call me bitch and she's like isn't that what black people do like that's literally what she says like isn't that what you guys do like it's so fucking funny like it's so funny and fucked up you were you can't believe. That it's happening, dog. Like, you actually can't believe that it's a real show. It makes me cringe sometimes. The guy's name is Bruno, bro. The white, white dude. He's, he says the most outrageous shit ever. If you want to geek <laughs> and see fucked up racist shit, bro. like, just watch it, bro. Like, 
ignorantly racist, bro. Yeah. They don't even know. They don't even know. That's crazy. The whole bro. time he's just trying to prove a point. He's like, I'm waiting for somebody to call me the N word, so then I can be like, okay, and not give it power because people give the word power, oh and that's what it is. God. So when they see that I don't even react and they call me that, <laughs> see, they're gonna be like, they're the ones gonna feel stupid. And I'm like, you know why it's not going to affect you? Because, because you're, you're not black, black you fucking black. idiot. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, son? Oh, my God. Oh, my bro. God. Like, the fact that that, that Ice Cube, bro, made that shit. Wow. I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, the whole, you have to watch it. It's actually so hilarious. That's like, fucking crazy, They do, you know, bro. slam poetry? Poetry slam? I think so, yeah. Well, it's like a meet, like, it's just like a, like a book club, you know? Yeah. But it said they just do poetry. Yeah. Yeah, all black people. Yeah. And then they had the white daughter, who's like 17 or something like that, uh-huh. who's doing blackface, go there and they think she's black, bruh. And she's literally, they're reciting poetry about, like, the black experience and, like, how their lo- long lived hardships and all that <laughs> shit that they've been through. And this white woman is there, and they make her do poetry, too. Like, she has to say shit, too. Oh, my God. And she's God. like, I don't know. I, <laughs> that's the only person in the show where you think, like, she knows that what she's doing is wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She realizes that what is going on. She's like, bro, this is fucked up. Like, she's conflicted, bro. So they got paid for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dude Bruno, bro, he is the geek, son. Like, that dude is evil as fuck. He was easily getting paid. He easily wow. got paid for that. They all got paid for that. So shit. he got paid to say the N word and act Const- black. over and over and over again. Wow, bro! You know how the white people were. You know how the black people were when they became white. They're like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I don't feel right. You know. Yeah. You know how Bruno was when he was in blackface. He's yeah. Like, I love this. He's like, I fuck with it. This is easy. I feel great. Like that's how he was, bro. He was so happy to be black, oh bro. My God. Just so he could say the N word too. Yeah, that's literally that's, that's yeah. literally what you know it was. That's literally and all it was. You could tell us some shit like that. He just he just wanted to say bro, it so bad. So, bro, in out <laughs> the cut, you're. I'm telling you the first when you watch it. Yeah. The first time he says it, you're not gonna expect it <laughs> because it does just come out at just a random spot. Talk. That's crazy, bro. I saw some <laughs> shit. Um. I saw. This, I didn't watch the video, but I saw some shit. I recommended on my YouTube. It was like this this guy, and he was like, I went to the most racist like town in the U.S. Yeah, and like I paid a hundred dollars or some shit for the. I don't know, but basically like I don't know. I guess I just want to ask like, would you ever try to pick a racist person's brain? Like just see what really goes on, what goes up like up there. So I think the true. That's the whole point of that show. At the end right? of the day, I yeah. guess that's the what they wanted yeah, that, to do. Yeah. It's just very counterproductive and mm-hmm. how it was put out and made. Like mm-hmm. it really is counterproductive. Mm-hmm. It honestly just makes white people look more racist. Like yeah. honestly, it's just like, yeah, y'all are just racist. You guys aren't <laughs> learning shit. You're not learning <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. So in that show, like for example, like the black girl would go to a bar and start talking to white people in that white neighborhood and like talk about black people and how they think. Mm-hmm. And she's there, and they're literally blaming openly racist to her as she's black and talking shit about white black people to her face, bruh. And then at that point, I'm literally thinking, I'm like, I don't think she could pick her his brain. Mm. She, like, the things he would say, he has no evidence towards, and they're all just racist stereotypes and generalizations and prejudices. But he thinks that it's real because mm. it's what the fucking media and all that stuff make mm. it seem. Where I don't think that even if she tried to speak up or anything like that, he would not listen. Because he's already so like in his ways of mm. thinking that this is how black people are bro that's how they are mm. he literally like that he's like they're dumb he you know he said that to this black woman he's like black people are dumb he's like they want they like being dumb like that's what it is because if you're white you're smart and then so if a black person starts to be what uh smart mm-hmm. they're like oh hey whitey why are you trying to be white you have to be dumb so like that's oh literally a my, thing that they yeah. think bro like who in the right mind thinks that how people want to be dumb like yeah what the fuck is wrong with you and that's why i don't know if it'd be willing like in the energy yeah. is there to like try to convince him that's not up to me mm-hmm. or anybody on the street like i can't do that yeah. it has to come from like people he knows bro mm-hmm. but those people he knows like Probably family and all that yeah exactly i think the same thing yeah. so at the end of the day it's very hard to yeah. change that narrative it starts with media and yeah. all the stuff we in, like consume in our brain, sub, in, in like subconsciously, that's mm-hmm. where it starts it's because propaganda. that's literally where he got all his opinions and ideas from. Just what the media made, just what the media mm-hmm. made black people like out to be, even yeah. though they're not like that. Yeah, that's yeah. I was literally when you were telling me that where he 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 thinks that like black people are dumb. I was like, that's yeah. propaganda, bro. Yeah, because there's no way that because someone is a different race. That their innately whole, dumb. Their whole race yeah. is supposed to be dumb. Yeah, like, that's that's so stupid. Yeah, to bro. think that people strive for that is mm-hmm. is crazy. You know, yeah. it's like it's not a thing. 
Yeah. And my like, I would try to argue. Like he was saying things where I could have an argument, mm-hmm. you know. But I feel like it'll just like he'll move the goalpost in his favor always, where it's yeah. just not gonna, it won't work. I mean, I wouldn't say like maybe you'd want to like pick someone's brain to try to convince them of something because you won't be able to do that. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like just to see what's going up. On oh, okay. Like, why? Oh, I, w- you know I would. Saying? I would. I yeah. mean, I have dealt with some racist people. Oh, really? Like, okay. yeah, yeah, bro. I yeah. mean, I'm a white person, so I'm in the I'm in the okay. white experience. Yeah. Like I get that shit. The white people are comfortable around like they don't know but yeah. you know and that's a lot that's what another thing is why the black people wanted to become white because they want to see like what happens behind closed doors type shit you know mm. so they want to see how it is in a white room what they talk about so mm-hmm. i am in there like i'm could be in times where i'm in a white place mm-hmm. and i'm seen as white so people aren't gonna think about what they're saying mm-hmm. if it's gonna be racist or anything like that yeah. and i've heard shit that is fucked up before and then to speak up like it's hard when you're outnumbered you know yeah like if everybody's hateful and you're the only one that's like pure there it's hard because you're gonna still seem like the alien Mm. no matter how good it can be like you're gonna be the alien because they're already in their ways and i don't know like i would try to pick their brain i'm just gonna ask questions Mm -hmm. you know like i wouldn't try to yeah like i can't get angry too but race and stuff like that gets me angry yeah but I, so I hope I wouldn't fold. But I mean, yeah. I want to have more experiences like that. I really do want to, like, I want to coexist with people. Fine, bro. Like, I the uh, the issue of race and all that shit pisses me off. Yeah, it really does because it's such an old traditional way of thinking. Mm-hmm. It's like, why are you still living this way? Like, why people hate people for no reason, mm-hmm. and that's so sad. And it sucks because it's like it's white Christian people. It's like yeah. it's literally the church is so yeah. anti that, but yet you do the complete opposite you know i don't i don't know it's not exactly that's what that's what blows me too like you hold god high and you claim oh i'm a christian i'm I'm like such a good person and then at the end of the day you have such a hateful part like with heart like how does that make sense the problem is though is that literally the the most important and the the, like the first commandment it is is to love one another as yourself that's the most important one so that's why it's always like like are you really a like do you really believe in, in Christ then if, if you're if you're a racist? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the most important commandment is to love one another as yourself. So it's like you're crossing the line, you know, fucking hating someone just for the color of their race. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like that shit blows me, bro, because, you know, that already gives a. I mean, in every single like religion, there there's people who, you know, are too in it or, or mm-hmm. whatever that, you know, gives extremist. a bad picture. Give a bad picture An extremist, to it, essentially. You know, and like mm-hmm. just, you know what I'm saying? There's always in, in every group. There's going to be somewhere, someone that, like, gives a bad image to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like, like soccer clubs. I think every soccer club has racist fans. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like some. Or just bad fans in general, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah. And it, it's sad, but, like, that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, no matter what, there's going to be, like, those people. But I don't know. I, I, I was having this thought, like, while I, I was out. So I was in downtown, right? And I was in the rock shop. You know what I'm saying with the minerals and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, bro. gemstone, dude. You trying yeah. to get some gem babies? Yeah, nah. See, yeah. So some I was thinking, bitches. I was thinking in my mind, like, hmm, I wonder what the typical clientele is in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like white you girl. Know? Yeah. So then I'm like, probably some I'm tats. Like, but then I'm like, bro, like, why am I low key like judging in my head? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm it's like, fucked up to say that. I'm like, yeah. Well, but I'm being honest though, because like in my mind, I'm like, this is so stupid. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, but these people, like, they actually believe in these things. You know? what I'm yeah. But so it's like, who am I to? Who am I to judge these people? You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's, so it's and it, that's just an example, like you know what I'm saying. But it's just like because mm-hmm. I, I mean, son, I don't give a f- like. I yeah. think it's funny. Yeah. Just how atheists think my religion is funny yeah. and make fun of it. Yeah. But it's like it's a funny thing to me because yeah, it could be outrageous how you can think that there's spiritual power in a fucking rock gemstone that you found <laughs> outside that you just they mine easy. Like, I'm sorry. I that that, that shit is just stupid. You know. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, but to me, but I'm not gonna fucking like hate on mm-hmm. them. I'm not gonna discriminate against mm-hmm. them. I'm not gonna see them. I'm gonna see them as a weirdo, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. Yeah, and I'm, it's not like I'm gonna still treat them differently though. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, all right, it's a little odd, but I'm still gonna talk to them as mm-hmm. if normal person because yeah. that's what they are. Mm-hmm. Like everybody has their own things that they want to like resonate with, mm-hmm. and that's what they resonate with. Like yeah. if people, I'm a I'm a Catholic person. I go to the Middle East. I mean, they're some christian there but majority it's the fucking islam yeah like and they're gonna think i'm crazy you know yeah and then at the end of the day i'm not like it's just where you are and that's why it's a culture thing mm. things are more culture but people like to relate it to race mm. like it's like it is a cultural thing that mm. white people tend to be like these gemstone things right mm-hmm. I, like it's a culture essentially yeah and 
This is how it is, bro. Yeah, it you is. Know? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, the in, one like thing thinking about Indian food, like with curry and all that stuff. Like, it's not a racist thing to like say that. It's yeah. a literal cultural thing. Like, they yeah, use yeah. a lot of curry when they make their food. Like, mm-hmm. this is how it is. It's just the way you go about it and how you give that message off. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Where it's like, oh, you smell like an Indian. Oh, like curry. Yeah, that's nasty. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just how how you give out the message. Mm-hmm. And it, I mean, always it's always in my mind too. It's like, bro, like, like they're not hurting no one either. They're like trying to, exactly. you know, you know what I'm saying. But it's just when it gets to this point of like people being like motherfuckers nowadays, like you know, whipping these Haitians, bro. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck, bro? Like. Like that's that's where the line is crossed, yeah. you know. That's fucking violence, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? And bro? that's what blows me because we, that's what we need most in order to get rid of this. Uh-huh. Because a lot of the people that have these ideas of how black people are and all, and how, or not even that, just even other minority groups and how they are, mm-hmm. it's because the population that they're in has no diversity. Mm. So we need more diversity in this country. We need more people to come in from out yeah. and teach us and give us that other experience because that's why. I feel like where we live is really good. Like it's very we're, we 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 understand other people's experiences mm-hmm. a lot more. Where I mean, I'm not to say that there's not racism here because oh, there yeah. is, but in those places that are racist, they're predominantly white. Mm-hmm. The least amount of diversity. Mm-hmm. The more diverse, the least amount of racism there is. Yeah. That's just because you're around it every single day. You see this shit subconsciously. At first, you might think it's weird, but if you're around it every single day, mm-hmm. like seeing a girl with like a hijab or something, like, yeah. I'm the fuck? Yeah. Like, if, yeah, I'm white people everywhere all day, every day, and then out the cut, I see someone with a hijab, yeah, it's gonna stick out way more oh, to me, and I'm gonna sure. be like, whoa, what the fuck? Damn. So, a lot of people's ideas and, and shit, I learned this in school, like, mm-hmm. a lot of people's ideas of how other people are, so, like, mm-hmm. in, like, the Midwest, for example, mm-hmm. are just based off media, and that's what I'm saying, like, that's what needs to change. Mm-hmm. That's why, what's his name, bruh? Why did he, what's his name? I feel Clint bad. Clint Eastwood? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not even like that. He died. He was a black man that was oh. murdered during COVID, and oh. it was a runner. Remember, have you heard about it? He was, like, a guy oh, that was running, and there was two George. Days. No, 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 George Floyd. No, 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 not George Floyd. Not George Floyd. Ah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. He was just running, right? Yeah, he was yeah, just yeah, running, yeah, bro. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember and then it was like these two white dudes just killed him because yeah, they have this oh preset thing in their head that this black guy's running in my neighborhood. He's doing something wrong. Yeah, because that's how every time they they put news about black people committing crime, it's like black man, blah blah blah. blah. White man does it. You know, it's it's way sugar coated, way more. So they that's it. Their only ideas. And experiences with black people are mm. through media and shit like that. So they make the opinions for them. So then they don't even know how to act, dog. And that's why they think, like, that girl on the show is, like, you guys say yo, bitch, all the time, right? Like, yeah. that's literally what, like, nah, son. I mean, the issue is who controls the media? White people. So, like, whoever controls the media mm. is who controls the people, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, nowadays, like, shit is getting more, like, you know, you see things that, uh, you know, that go that go against racism and shit like that you know yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of shit like that you know nowadays but it's like you know they they control what's seen and what's not seen you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like it's hard and like i can't i can't even imagine that industry in itself like imagine like a a black man or someone like trying to get a message across of like you know like of of trying to change some shit yeah and it's like or try- he has like a whole editorial and shit and yeah yeah then- before he gets it published, he has to run it by mm-hmm. these big companies, and then those big companies refine it yeah. and make it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Aww. It's like, bro, those aren't even my words at that point. And it's like, it probably makes him not even want to give put it out anymore. Yeah. It's just like, bro, that's not what I'm saying. And that's like, that's an issue with everything, like even comedians and mm-hmm. how they talk about like what they want to put on their shows and shit. Like, yeah. once they go through the channels and all that stuff, they don't want that. Mm-hmm. They change everything, and that's when they lose, like usually first banger episode like the first couple bang episodes are bangers mm-hmm. because it's genuine from the creators then as time goes on it gets worse and worse and worse because it's more uh made through the minds of the fucking people and it's like you know what that might not be that funny because they want this you know and yeah. it's like shut the fuck up bro like i'm just trying to say it was funny damn son you ever look do you ever look up miss pat her, Ms. Pat. her show Nah, not her show. Nah, nah but nah. you know the Miss Pat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like she has her show, and that's mm. what she does, and that's what I fuck with because oh, okay. she stayed true to herself, bro. She She's like, I'm not it. letting you fucking change my shit because wow. that's not it, son. That's not what it is. I'm doing what I want. Wow. And we should have the freedom to do that. Yeah. We should literally have the freedom to create our own art and put it out there without having somebody to change our art. Like, what the fuck? You see, that's why it's the beauty. Like, even though, you know what, we get like, what, like average like 30 20 some views right yeah maybe no one's watching but it's like 
we have no one telling us what to do. You know not what I'm yet, though. We, not but yet. See, that's what sucks because as we grow, yeah. eventually we're going to have to start accommodating to like YouTube guidelines yeah. and stuff like that more. You know, like we'll probably have to stop cursing. Yeah. Like I, I think about this a lot because yeah. we do cuss. We're unfiltered as fuck. Yeah. We don't give a shit. Yeah, talk about but then as know, soon yeah. as like we start getting a thousand, thousand views and stuff, mm-hmm. we're going to start getting like demonetization yeah. and stuff like bro Damn. it's not and and then you have to think about and you have to accommodate for other people again yeah. it's not as genuine anymore mm-hmm. exactly i mean that's why honestly like i'm bro i love like i've been i've been really appreciating where, I, where i'm at right now you know what i'm saying because i'm like i could do whatever the fuck i want right now you know what i'm saying yeah. like no one's gonna tell me shit. like you know what okay maybe i am broke maybe i don't have that many people who you know know of me like if i were to die right now i wouldn't leave live uh leave what is it leave a long legacy you know what i'm saying yeah but it's like at least i would die knowing that like i was in the pursuit of you know what i'm saying trying to do what it is i really wanted to do yeah you know and it saying? was you yeah you know and it was saying? who it i was am you. it wasn't like me like it wasn't someone like controlling me do, yeah. and shit like man, like that's so dope bro like you know what i'm saying yeah. like we got no one telling us what to do like we literally come out here like just talk out our ass and yeah, say whatever the fuck we want all the time just talk you about porn all day yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck? basically yeah yeah so i mean mm-hmm. I, I, I mean think- i've been thinking about like creating my own platform like mm-hmm. like not a youtube you know like oh but yeah? just another th- like engine you know you go there and you post videos or something like that like damn because patreon but but then there's always more layers yeah. you know like youtube itself makes these rules to accommodate for even a bigger thing for like google you mm-hmm. know so like there's still people no matter what in a way controlling you you always gonna have to somehow refine shit and all that stuff yeah and that's why i want to do comedy because mm. when i'm on a stage or something like that mm. you can't take that away from me that's when i'll say whatever yeah. the fuck i want yeah and you can't take that shit away there's no platform there's no nothing damn so that's why the best way is just like words yourself and putting yourself right. out there because if you rely on like putting all there like mm. but there's still know. layers to even that i feel like too yeah, just like be. for example how like you know I, I i didn't know bobby lee back then but i know he used to like whip out his dick all the time yeah he shit. still does bro oh for real yeah, he still does what the fuck <laughs> oh i gotta i gotta see him bro we gotta go see we have bro that's we one person to, we have to see we before, have to right, see before i die bro oh bro. we have to see yeah, him for sure. we have to see somebody at, like at least like like theo vaughn or yeah, some shit. like we have to bro. oh bro yeah Dude, i would love to see theo i would love to meet bobby lee bro like one day it's crazy how much like you they, they don't even know what like they yeah. don't realize they don't know who we are yeah. they don't give a fuck <laughs> it's like a it's called a parasocial relationship yeah. i have like a parasocial relationship we're with a this speck man, right? yeah we're a tiny speck nothing we're a number to him yeah that's it we're a number we're an analytic <laughs> he's a, a part of the analytics yeah. to him bro we're but, uh, to him, but him to us bro like he's actually like yeah go. an inspiration mm. bro like damn he actually hits us like strikes a chord in yeah. some places because of like just what he does and mm. how he got there and all mm. that and then that's what i love bro that's crazy that's why i look up to the hell of comedians people like that yeah i mean even though we're, we're not at that level yet like i imagine like there's someone out there who who like could look at us that way like even though we're just starting to like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying who knows where this shit would go you know what i'm saying and yeah. not even I mean, just, bro, we're almost a year in bro yeah damn if you think about fuck. it we're almost a year in that's crazy we started december yeah <laughs> It's fucking sep- crazy, it's September, bro. almost October. <laughs> Yo, so see, like almost a year. That's dude. crazy, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, who knows what the, where this shit is gonna go? I'm not mm. even talking about just like podcasts. No, I'm, yeah, ta- I'm talking about like general, your bro. own ventures and my own ventures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is like who knows where we're going? Like what people like are you know people are watching, bro. I mean, I'm not saying like people are watching like, like podcasts. Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like people are watching that like we're no, trying to promote no you yeah, know what I'm saying? no yeah yeah 90 yeah. percent of the people that come and talk to me about the podcast have never seen it yeah, but they're aware but of it exactly. because I, yeah because they see that i be like, oh you do the podcast mm-hmm. shit bro I'm like yeah i do yeah so, and yeah one like that one day that they do finally decide to click on it like yeah. hopefully that that can change their perspective like make them come back you yeah, know what i'm saying I don't, yeah so that's why it's like man like i always i'm just touch like, somebody's heart or yeah or just touch them like that's it i just want to yeah like oh oh or touch me or all right but <laughs> i just i just want to like i just want to impact people you know yeah. i want to have an impact i want my voice to be heard mm. even if it's bullshit yeah you know i just think that everybody has things to say mm. something either sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but mm. we can all contribute in some way and i want to like have even a community where yeah where like we help each other out like mm. you know we build each other up and all that we're looking for each other's best interests we're trying to just geek and stuff and that's it and like look at the world and yeah and honestly just laugh at it's how stupid its issues are you know yeah. like laugh at why like that's why i laugh at these racist shit like yeah. i literally am laughing at that show because i cannot fathom the fact that these people are like this 
And I think that should be like that. Like, we should belittle it in a funny way and make it comedic to understand this, like, this is funny for a reason because mm. it's so crazy that it's not normal. And just, you know, yeah, just laugh at life's issues and shit together. You know, it's a, a beautiful quote I heard from Miss Pat. Which oh, for real? Yeah, she said that. And uh, I'll, maybe we could end it off this, you know. But uh, she said, like, if you can laugh at it, then you don't give power to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though, like, you know, you're saying you're laughing at it, but, like, like let's say, like, a, like a, you know, maybe, like, me being a Hispanic person, like, like I laugh at, I, I can laugh at some shit of, like, you know what I'm saying? Of, like, you know, people saying, like, calling me shit or, like, yeah. saying some, like, racist shit. Yeah, like, wet back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Or, right, like, or whatever. Yeah. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. And, like. I can laugh at it sometimes because I mm-hmm. choose. I just choose not to give power to it because I can. I can get offended. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Sometimes I do. Sometimes like people cross lines, but like yeah. sometimes, bro, it's like you. I, you can really give. You really give power to shit sometimes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like so. Yeah. yeah. Like I got called, bro. My whole entire fucking high school <laughs> career, son. My <laughs> friends called me Nazi Jew. Like growing oh, up, like I'm a Hitler, shit. Stalin, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. Like. <laughs> It would annoy me, but yeah. it, then I realized, like, as time went on and I stopped caring, mm-hmm. they stopped caring, you know, like, they stopped calling me, like, oh, you Nazi Jew, even though it was completely contradictory, because mm-hmm. they call me a Nazi Jew, Yeah, but I mean, still, you know, I would get sick at first, that's why they would do it, and all of them would do it more, I would yeah. be like, bro, stop, what the fuck, I don't want to call that, entertaining to them. yeah, mm-hmm. and then, but nah, you stop getting the power to it, there you go, yeah, and... I mean, it all depends on delivery, too. Yeah. Because, like, if it, you could tell if somebody's genuinely trying to be hateful towards you, right, yeah. you know? Like, you're fucking Nazi yeah, 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 you yeah. fucking Nazi yeah. Jew skinhead yeah. pussy. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, that's different. That's yeah. like you yeah. hate, straight hate. Exactly. Yeah. But you could tell if it's, like, my friends would be like, oh, you Nazi Jew. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. just, it's stupid. Yeah. So yeah. we yeah. just need to relax. Yeah. Live life. It's simple. I'm going to keep saying it, bro. Life is simple, bro. It life is. is way more simple than it we is. make it. Honestly. We all want our issues to be known by people, so we make yeah. our issues huge when they're actually not that huge. Yeah. You know, it's just huge to us because the world is going to keep moving anyway. Yeah. Regardless if you get that new Chanel bag, <laughs> you know, that just <laughs> dropped or some shit. Like, I, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter, bro. I just think I don't know shit. I don't know shit. I'm nothing. And, yeah. you know, we could just laugh at it, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't we just all laugh at our own our bullshit? stupidity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I think that's what fucking this shit is about. Yeah, bro, I swear. Is, bro, we watch back at this, and I literally am like, why did I say that? Like, <laughs> yeah, But I, I laugh back at myself because whatever. It's funny. Yeah. I don't take too yeah. much shit to heart, but. Yeah. It's just people take shit too serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just fucking, like, this shit is bullshit. But, like, who yeah. cares? Like, it's funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like now, once you enter a, uh, a niche or a mm. scope it's like your duty to stick to it like mm. if you speak up once about like black rights or something like that if you mm. say anything in regards joking or that it's like oh my god how dare you or, you know like <laughs> yeah. everything has to be serious from then on and all that shit and it's like yeah bro we can learn to when to be serious but also when to have fun yeah. you know because it'll just make it'll just spread have more happiness yeah because if you're always on edge and uptight yeah and like waiting for somebody to fuck up like bro you're never gonna be happy son mm-hmm. you're looking for it yeah but on that note bruvs on that note i mean did we do it did we pass it yeah but i mean yeah but i mean we did talk at the beginning a lot yeah we did yeah that's why i don't know no we did i remember oh it was we did like eight minutes yeah wow yeah. right, brothers i hope you learned a little bit about race yeah because Criti- essentially that's kind of like critical race theory a little bit yeah. you know but yeah I don't know. Like it's the, interesting. The porn talk in the beginning again, you know. Yeah. Sorry we, if you've been a part of that. You know, we do our, our, our fair share of, uh, you know, every other week. Maybe we try to keep it, you know, porn. You know what I'm saying? Just like. Yeah. Just so you can keep it fresh in your minds, even yeah. though it's fresh off your browser. Yeah. It's history, my guy. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we love y'all. Love you. Like, comment. Yeah. All that. And keep listening. Spread it around. And if you're watching, but you're not watching, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you watch this, bro, yeah. I, I still appreciate you coming up oh, to us. Yeah. And saying, like, oh, I people what you're doing. I people what you're doing. Like, mm-hmm. I fuck with it, man. Like, it makes yeah. me happy. It makes me want to keep doing it, you know? Yeah. Even if it is not genuine. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take that. I'm going to give that shit power. And I'll put it in my whole <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. He meant that. Yeah. He meant that. Yeah. But yeah. Love y'all. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Woo!